Welcome back. So at this stage, we have created our sites mesh. Um, if you're just joining in for the first time, please look at my previous videos to see how we created our project, set our working units, um, created the site to look like this. So this is the site where we will draw our building on. Now, we all know that for every building envelope, by building envelope, I mean the, the structure of the building. It's usually made up of different components like the walls, the exterior walls, internal walls, the slab, the roof, and so on. Now, each of those components are made up of several features. For instance, for a wall, a wall will be made up of both the um, structures inside, uh, the insulations, the linings, and so on, and the core elements as well as the finishes. Um, the same thing goes with slab, the same thing goes with, roof, with roofs. So in Archicad, we try to simulate real life components of a building. And that is what we're going to do for our design. Which means that in this video, I will teach us how to create some elements like the exterior wall for floor slab, interior walls and roof for our simple residential building. As we're modeling in 3D, we need to think more than simply the length and the width of the building elements. We need to consider high thickness of the building elements that we will design. This will allow us to get adequate information such as the surface finish, the paint of the interior walls, whether we're using a weatherboard on the exterior and so on. Now that is the major difference between a 2D drawing and a 3D drawing. So uh, before we continue, we we'll need to create our building envelope and the layers and the components that they will be in. The first thing we need to do is to create layers. It's always a good practice to allocate layers to our building components. Why? So that we can work on different elements collectively when they are in the same layer. This way, we won't affect other elements in the building. For instance, if we have different types of walls, if they are on the same layer, we can, we can change or make changes to all the walls without affecting the windows or the doors. Okay. So um, we will continue. If you want to know more about what I'm talking about, look at the manual, Easy Steps to Archicad. It explains this, this stuff further. Okay, so we're going to create layers for our building components. At this stage, we'll create three layers. The first, the structural bearing for our exterior walls and slab. The site and landscaping terrain for the exterior uh, pavement we'll create and the shell for our roof. To create layers, go to Documents, Layers, and we'll open up the layer settings by clicking on Layers Model View. Now, in this Layers tab, you'll see that there are two different um, columns of layers. One is the layer combinations, and this is the layer itself. So, Archicad has also kind of pre-thought um, the kind of layers and layer combinations we'll need. As such, it has created some layer combinations here, which you will use. Now, this is usually helpful if you're dealing with a complex building or a building that has multi-story floors, or um, it's quite a bigger complex that you deal with lots of floors, lots of walls, lots of windows and doors. But since we're designing such, such only a simple residential building, we'll be working with individual layers themselves. What do we need to do here? We need to create a new layer. To do so, click on new. Now, do not click on new on layer combinations because we are not the creating layer combinations, we're just creating new layers. So click on new, give the name called structural bearing, and then click OK. Now we have created a layer called structural bearing. We'll repeat the steps to create the other two layers we need. We'll click on new. 
and we'll give it a name, sites and landscaping dash terrain. Click on OK. Now let's create the last layer we need. Shell roof. Click on OK. When we finish, click OK on the settings to close the tab. Awesome. Now we've created the three layers we need for our building. The next thing we need to do is to create the building materials that we need for our buildings, for the components we'll use in our building. We can now start defining the features or the materials of our building elements. The first building element or the first building components we need is our exterior walls. To set the building materials for our exterior wall, we'll need a material called white brick. To create this, go to options, element attributes. Now have a look at this element attribute. It has all the specifications we need to define and, and create a building material or a component to fit exactly how we want it to be. For the particular purpose of what we're doing, we will choose building materials. This opens up available building materials that have been set by default in Archicad. You can look at them all. Now, if you look through, we do not have um, a layer called white brick. So we'll need to create one ourselves. Now, there are different ways of creating an element. You can either duplicate an already existing element or you can create a new one. Let's create, let's duplicate an already existing one and modify it to become a new one. Click on brick finish on the building materials. It brings up the parameters or the features of brick finish. Then click on new. In this dialog box that has come up, choose duplicate because we want to duplicate it. But now we'll change the name from brick finish bracket white. Click OK. Now you can see brick finish white comes up under brick finish. But this brick finish white has the same features and parameters as the original brick finish. Why? Because we duplicated it. So what we need to do now is to give it its own specific features. Let's change the pen to 161. And then we'll change the surface fill. Let's choose brick white natural to give it a different look. If you look at the preview of the building materials, you can see both the color of the 2D view has changed and the surface view has also changed to white from brown. Okay, now let's click OK. So we have created a new building material that is called brick finish white. That is how you create building materials. Let's have a look at how we can now create composites. By composites, I mean bringing together different building materials to make up a building component. Let's say, for instance, a wall. Let's start by creating our, um, our exterior wall with the kind of building materials we need. We'll go back to options, building elements. And this time we choose composites. Now, if you look at um, the composite structure tab, by default, Archicad has set out or designed um, pre-existing composites for us to choose from. So we can either choose from this or we can create ours. Let's create our own. Let's select um, the composite that fits 
best to the needed skin that we need. So we'll select exterior stored 140 insulation, this one, or we can choose exterior stored 140 thermal. Let's choose this one in the drop box. It brings up pre existing um, building materials that's been used for this building composite. We will change this, we will modify this to suit what we want. Click on duplicate and set the new name as exterior wall. Click OK. Select the first skin. I change the building material to brick finish white. The brick finish white we created. Let's leave the line pen as it is. However, we'll change the type. We want it to be a finish, not a core element. And then we'll change the thickness to 0 0.02. We'll repeat the same process for the skin underneath the brick finish white. We'll change the building material to insulation mineral hard. Let's change the line pen this time to 157. We'll make this um, the type of the building material as other. So in Akika, you either have a finish a core element or an other. Now this is insulation, so we'll call it other. The thickness this time will be 0 0.01. For the third skin, let's change it to masonry block structural. Let's leave the line pen as it is. How do I make this a core element? We change the thickness to 0 0.25. Now we need another skin. In order to add another skin, click on insert skin to add an, another one after the masonry block structure. Select the new skin and change the building material to, plasti to plaster gypsum. Leave the light pen as it is but change the thickness to 0 0.02. The building material type here will be finished. So in other words, we have created a wall that has brick on the outers or the, the outside view and plaster on the inside view. Then it has an insulation and it has a masonry block in between. On the floor plan, this is how it will look. Now, in terms of association, this is really important. Here, we are telling Akika that this particular building component we are created, we want it to be used only for walls or only for slabs, only for roof or only for um, shell um, um, features. For this time, since we have called it a steel wall, let's just use it only for the wall. So click on this one and deselect the other ones if they are selected. When you have finished this, click OK. Now we have created the building component that we need for our design.